Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm for July to share with you guys. I know I'm a little late on this. Um, just been a little bit busy around the house and things like that. But I am going to try on the products for you. That is why I look like this right now. I do have my foundation and concealer on. So let's jump on into the box. This month's theme is Cutie Pie. And I do already know what's in here because I had to take a peek to see what I needed to put on this morning. So to start off, I'm going to show you this Bare Minerals product. This is the Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. Now, this is a full-size product and retails for $32, although I have seen it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for about $20, I think. So this has a matte powder and a glow powder, so I'm going to actually set my face. I hope my concealer doesn't crease before I get to this. But I do have on my concealer and foundation. So I'm going to open this up. It feels like really thick and nice. I feel like there's a lot of product in here. Um, it's 9 grams total. And then look inside and there is a little um, plastic thing that comes off. And then these are the two powders. This is the matte powder and this is the glow powder. I'm going to go ahead on my e.l.f. complexion brush and take this matte powder. I am getting a lot of kick up, but and I'm just going to set my face, set my foundation. Usually I would put a like uh, colored face powder on, but for this video, we'll just go ahead and set with this powder. Now I'm setting a lot because I get really oily throughout the day, so I just have to make sure that I stay nice and matte. And I'm going to go ahead and take this glow powder. It's not too, too shimmery, so I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that underneath my eyes where I would typically use a translucent or um, a loose translucent or a um, banana powder. And I'm also going to take this and run it along the tops of my cheekbones, which you cannot see the glow at all really. It's not that glowy. So I'm just going in and just setting everything. My first impressions about the powder is not doesn't provide any additional coverage, which it is a translucent powder, so I don't expect it to. Um, they feel pretty powdery. I'm not sure I would actually buy this if it wasn't in my BoxyCharm. These powders just feel kind of chalky. If you hear footsteps, it's the dog. Hi, baby. But these just feel really kind of chalky, and they're not my favorite. Um, I don't know if I would use this again. I mean, this glow powder is really subtle. I might use it on top of a cream uh, highlight. As far as this matte powder, these just aren't my favorite. Um, I would maybe use the matte powder to set under my eyes um, if I set it with a hard powder, but usually I like to use a translucent. Not my favorite product, but um, it's still a Bare Minerals product, so it is high-end, so BoxyCharm does, you know, provide you with that product, but not my favorite. Alright, so the next thing I see in here, whew, there's styrofoam in there, it's going to be the ABGBs, is from Winky Lux, and it is a universal eyebrow pencil and it retails for $12. So it says it's a two-step pencil. So it must be two ends. It says one brow pencil to rule them all. Simplify your brow game with this two-step pencil. Its firm texture gives maximum control so anyone can be a brow boss. So this is one side which is a spoolie. And then this is the product side which is weird. Okay, so I think mine's broken. It's not coming up at all. Oh, maybe a little bit. It's starting. Not really. What the heck? I don't know if anyone else has had this problem. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm twisting, twisting, twisting. Nothing's coming up. Nothing at all. Okay, I'm going to have to email BoxyCharm about this because, hello. Nothing is happening. 
Ugh, how annoying. Well, let me do my brows real fast with my brow wiz, and I will be right back. So I went ahead and put on some brows. I used my NYX brow pencil in the shade Brunette. And one looks a little bit higher than the other, but we're just going to move on from that. And I put on some bronzer and blush and some extra highlights. So we're going to move on to the rest of the box. So next thing in here is from Blink. I don't know if it's Blink Beauty or just Blink. Let's see. Um, just Blink. So this is the Electric... Electric Eyes Palette. It retails for $45, which is crazy because there's only like five shades in here. And this is what the shades look like. They're super pretty. Um, you got some bronzy light shades and some pink shades. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them all for you guys. Oh, they feel super creamy and pigmented. Whew. Yeah. Wow, those are the first four shades. Look at that pigment. And that was literally me just swiping in there and wiping one time, which is insane. Let me go ahead and hit the last guy here. These are awesome. They almost feel like creams. Let me read what the thing says because they almost feel like cream shadows. They feel really awesome. It just says that these, it doesn't say. So you can use an eyeshadow brush, it says, or your finger. Um, and then, of course, you can hit it with some setting spray, blah, blah, blah. So, let's go ahead and use that. I'm actually going to be using it in conjunction with this Studio Makeup on the Go palette that they gave us previously, just so I can get some matte shades out of here. So, let's see. I'm going to be taking my Royal in Lang Nickel. I just washed all my brushes last night, so some of them have a little bit of shedding. Um, this is their, their Omnia Shader Brush, and I'm just going to take this matte shade from the Studio Makeup Palette, and I'm just going to set that all over my eye, kind of as a base shade. And this is just going to make all of our transition shades really nice and smooth and easy to apply. And then for my transition shade, let's see. I do want to use these pinks because they are really pretty. So let's see. I'm going to take this shade right here in the Studio Makeup Palette. And I'm going to take this on this Mally Fluffy Blending Brush. I'm just going to apply that up to the brow bone from my crease. And I want to apply as many colors as possible, so these are the only mattes I'm going to be using. Just so I can get the whole palette onto my eyes. So I'm going to start off with the center of my lid. And I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here. This little pinkish. Oh, it's called. They have names. Yes. It's called Vanadini. Okay. I'm going to take my finger. Because these feel really good with the finger, so and I'm just gonna put that in the center of my eyelid. And then for my inner corner, ah, just drop powder all over my leg. Oops. For my inner corner, I am going to be taking this lightest shade at the end. This shade is Sphine. I don't know where these names came from, but I'm taking that on an e.l.f. crease brush. It says it's a crease brush, so I kind of use it as a shader brush because it's more flat. And I'm just going to take that right on the inner corner and pop it up to meet with that rosy, pinky, gold shade. I'm going to take a little bit more of that pinky shade and just kind of 
and meet those in the middle. All right. So next I am going to take the same brush and I think I'm going to take the bronze shade, the very last shade here, which is called Orp Pime. These names are just giving me hell today. Take same brush and I'm just going to apply that kind of on my outer V area. I really like the way that these perform. The only thing is like it looks like when you put them, overlap them, they kind of come off the eye a little bit. It could be the brush. So just something to look out for. I definitely perform better with my eye. I mean, with my finger. <laughs> um, but that could also just be this brush. If I use a different brush, you may have a different result. I mean, you will have a different result, definitely, but... Alright, so I'm going to go back in with that pink shade once more and just kind of tap all over. Make sure we're all nice and blendy. Alright. That's what we look like so far. I am actually going to go back in with the Mally brush and a little bit more of this transition shade. And just pop that on because we lost a lot of that with our shadow. Just want to make sure we're all nice and blended. Alright. Now the lower lash line, I'm going to try to use the two remaining colors. So first I'm going to go in with this gold shade, which is called Atini. I don't really know what it's called. But I'm going to take that shade and line it right here on the first like third of this lower lash line. This shade is really, really pretty and performs really well with this little shader brush. Oh, this brush is the Royal Langnickel, Langnickel Omnia Detail Brush. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied today. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with this nice, pretty pink right here. It is called Rodani. I'm slaughtering these names, and I'm really sorry. But I'm just going to put that on the outer third. I mean... Two thirds. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's pretty. Alright, so that is done. I might actually, actually I'm going to take this Mally brush a little bit and just try to fluff a little bit under here just to get out these harsh lines. So I'm going to put on some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back to put on the final two products in the box. Alrighty, so now that our eyes are done, we're down to the last two items. I'm going to go ahead, we have a lip product and a setting spray. I'm going to use my setting spray now before I put on my lip product. Um, this is the, where'd it go, um, Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray by My Project, or Project Beauty. This retails for $32, you guys. This is insane. I saw some people online saying that they didn't like it. Um, okay, I just took off the whole thing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to pump it out into the air for Okay, it does kind of squirt straight out. Let's see what it does. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. You definitely want to hold it, like, far away. I had it, like, all the way extended. Um, it definitely shoots out pretty wet. Um, my face feels pretty wet right now. Dry it down. Um, as far as smell, like, it's a tiny bit chemically, but not bad at all. It doesn't have, like, a super weird scent. Like, it actually has less scent than my Urban Decay one. 
Um, it feels nice. Um, it is a little wet. Like, I can feel it on my chest, too. Like, it got everywhere. Um, it's a little bit sticky on my chest, but it doesn't really feel sticky on my face, and it kind of melted all the powders together. Let's see. Yeah. So, I like the way that it looks. And it doesn't feel tacky on my face, even though it felt a little tacky on my chest. I don't have any makeup on my chest, so that could be why. Um, this has two fluid ounces, so it'll probably last you a while, but I would definitely hold it um, away. But it did dry pretty fast. So I'll have to leave a comment below and update you guys if, it made my, if I felt like it made my makeup last any longer. So the last thing in here is from ColourPop, and it is the... Ultra Matte Lip and Beeper. I actually already own this, so I grabbed mine, and I'm going to put this on for you guys. Um, I really, I bought this color because I see Amanda Ensinger, and she, it looks amazing on her. It doesn't look as good on me, I'll just tell you that, but <laughs> I will put it on anyways. I thought that I was going to, like, love this color. But I think it's like a little dark for me. And I have smaller lips too, so I think that might be part of the reason. It just looks like really good on those big, full, full lips. I like to stick to lighter pinks because they don't make my lips look as clownish. I feel like I'm trying to force them here into something. This was actually my last ColourPop haul. I'll leave that video at the end if you guys want to watch it. So these um, are $6. You can get them on ColourPop.com. Doesn't look bad with this makeup. It's a little dark. Um, it's Like I said, it's not my favorite on me, but it is a beautiful shade. Um, these do not dry down all the way for me. While I love them and I think that they are nice, they don't dry down all the way and they can be a little bit drying on your lips, which is kind of a weird combination. <laughs> but if you guys are interested in any of the ColourPop lippies, I would definitely go for the satins, the ultra satins, they last longer than a regular lipstick, but they're not as drying, and they, um, they're just pretty, and they feel good on your lips, like these, this is already starting to dry down, even though it'll still transfer, it just feels a little bit uncomfortable, but yeah, that was everything on this one's boxy charm. um, overall, I would say it was a okay box, it wasn't my favorite box, but, I did really like the eyeshadow palette, so that in itself pays for your box because it was $45. I could definitely see me using the shimmers out of that. Um, I think they're really pretty and really nice. I will keep using the setting spray even though you have to hold it far away. I might transfer it into another bottle. I can't tell you anything about this eyebrow pencil because I still can't get it <laughs> to twist up. I've been trying and trying. I'm going to email BoxyCharm about that. And the Translucent Powder Duo, I don't know if I will use that that much. I might wait until... I have all my other powders on and then kind of use that as an all-over glow powder. But I don't think I would use that as a setting powder um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, that was everything in my box. BoxyCharm is $21 a month. You get five full-size products. I will leave a sign-up link for you below if you're interested in joining. Um, it is just a points link, so like I get points if you sign up. And I can redeem that for products and stuff. Um to share with you guys on YouTube. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit this video with a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!